everybody, it's Brittany, and today I'm doing the other three palettes, because I already did this one. So, if you want to know how this one turned out, it might be somewhere else. I don't know which one of these I'm going to post first, so. If you don't see that one, then it's coming. If you do, then check it out. Anyways, um, I'm pretty, the swatch, this is a swatch video, so. The haul video will be definitely before these come out, but, uh, anyways, so today I am going to be swatching these palettes. Um, I have the contour palette. These, by the way, I got at Rue 21. Um, it's their brand, I'm assuming, because it doesn't have any name on it, to be honest. And, um, these all retail for $6.99 each. Let me double check. Yeah. So these are all $6.99 each. Um, I will start with the contour palette and I got this one in the color light to medium um they have like little instructions on the back it's kind of cute um so yeah uh it looks like this inside well I guess I could take this plastic off one of the only plastics that I probably will not return back to its home usually I keep the plastics and I put them back on just because I feel like it keeps it cleaner maybe I will these ones are kind of powdery and this is an open one so um it's kind of dirty already, sorry. Last time when I did the Brights On palette, I kind of uh, did my swatches wrong, so... I'm sorry. Please don't be my yad. So, but this time I will do them right. And we will again go from here to here, and then here to here. And I will do them right. It won't be like, this one first, this one second, this one. <laughs> I promise. I am gonna remember. So, I'm going to start with the first two shades, which the first one is Vanilla and Cream. Now, I think the Vanilla color, if you look, I need to turn up this. I always have lighting issues, don't I? Um, so, if you look wait, yeah, at the Vanilla color, which you can't see, it's kind of got this shimmery kind of coloring to it. So, I'm going to start here. So, this is Vanilla, the first one. Um, and we're going to swatch them. And this is actually not a bad highlight. You probably can't really tell on my skin. Let's see. Can we get it at a better angle? It's not that bad as a highlight. And this one is more of like a banana yellowy color that doesn't work on my skin because all it does is make me look like the skin under my eyes is darker than the rest of my face. So banana powder, don't work. Um, that was vanilla and then cream. The next one we have is caramel, and because I can't tell on this monitor, because there, this is caramel, and this is a warmer tone, yeah. This is more of a warm, bronzy color. We can see my swatch shadows from the last video. Um, it doesn't have any shimmer in it. The, the, consistency, the consistency of these are very soft, like they were in the other video, so... They're not like a creamy soft, but they're also um, not rough either as far as powders go. Alright, so now we're on this. That was caramel. The next row I have Java and Dark Roast, which these I'm really interested in because these ones would look like they made they would make a really good contour shade. And I feel like I'm getting really yellowy here. So this one will be a Java. Mm, not really impressed. And then this one will be patchy, but it's called Dark Roast. Oh, maybe it's not. It looks like it's a little bit powdery, but again, swatching with the hand, so, or with the finger, so I'm not like, mm, this is, anyway. <laughs> and then the last color is called Latte, and this again, this is more in the pan. It looks more of like a peachy setting color. I don't know if they want it to be a blush. I have no idea because, well... It applies too dark for me. I guess if you have a medium skin tone, it might work, so. But that would be the contour kit. Alright, as I've said before, I am not a lighting expert, so I get like, I start to get anxious when the, you can't see things. Like, you still can't see this highlight color. Maybe a little, I don't know. It's like, um... If you look at it in here, so I will show you this again. This is the one that is like the highlight color. It is a very, oh, I just took my nail in there. Um, but it is a very, almost a uh, light pink 
kind of highlight color. It does have gold in it, so it's kind of like a rose gold, but it's not... No, it's pink. It's just pink. But not pink. It's not... It's like a... Mm, natural? Like a nudie pink? Anyways, so that was the contour kit. Um... I actually like this color though, because I was when I was screwing with the lights, it, it rubbed on my sleeve because this sleeve is like <laughs> doesn't want to stay still. So um, I do though; it looks like it'll blend nicely. Um, I'm gonna be probably recording after this um, a video using all of these, so we'll see. We'll see. All right. So the next one I'm gonna do just because I've already started this process, and this one has a lot in it. It's got what nine. I'm gonna do this one, which is the keep a glow profile in the color unicorn glow. Oh my god. Alright, so it looks like this. The pans are pretty big. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm not really sure about this one. This golden vanilla. Yeah. Oh god. I was cleaning it off. This is really glittery. Um, but these are the colors. I like this name of this. I'll probably use this one as an eyeshadow though. Probably these two will probably be more of a shadow than um, a highlight because, god damn, that's, we'll see how it comes out. So, um, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to start off here, which this one is going to be Ice Queen and then Cotton Candy and then Pink Heart and Golden Vanilla. So, ooh, these are rough. These have a lot of micro glitter in them, I will say that. I don't know if you can see that, but let's uh, do these and get them pretty close and see the, look, the color payoff is not there. Like, let's see again. I'm going to try it on my actual, like, right, double check that I wasn't putting the wrong finger. See, like, you see them on my fingers. They're very pretty. They're... They, they're very shiny. And then let's see if I can get a better swatch of it on my palm. Alright, that one seemed to turn out a little bit better than the one on there, but they're very, very shiny. Can you see that? I hope you guys can. I never know until afterwards, like, where'd that towel go? Um, I don't do any of the editing. My husband does that, so... I don't know. Hopefully it shows up as pretty on my hand as it or on camera as it looks in person because these are actually really pretty, but they are very glittery. Um, they have that wet look to them, so it's micro glitter. It's not really chunky glitter. It's not like you're going to have chunks of glitter everywhere, but you could definitely tell in person that these do have glitter in them. And um, yeah. Let's try the other two. It's a uh, pink heart and golden vanilla. Yeah, these are not soft. And this one, hold on. Alright, so I'm going to put Ice Queen back up. So this was Ice Queen. And so the top one would be Ice Queen. And, well, this one would be the pink heart and then Ice Queen. These are really similar. They look completely different in the pans and they show up on my hands. Um, other than obviously the blue and the yellow because those are going to turn out there. Alright, so this one is the pink heart, and then golden vanilla. I'm going to swatch them on my hand. That seemed to work out better. Alright, can you see? They're really pretty. Um, I feel, though, that these are going to be a lot harder to work with. I guess we'll see when I actually um, do them on my face, or when I actually apply them to my face, how they're actually going to turn out, um, if they're going to be pigmented enough, if they're going to be really difficult to actually use, we'll see. Alright, so the last one, which I'm going to remove the plastic before I show it to you this time, is, alright, the, this one is called Love at First Blush, and this is the Daydreamer 9 Color Blush Palette. Right? And it looks like this, and again, it has instructions on the back. Is this one? Yeah, this one does too. So, alright, so, again, we're going to start from here to here, and I'm going to do it right. 
So the first three are Pink Velvet, Sweetness, and Dusty Rose, which I'm going to show you what this Dusty Rose color looks like real quick. That is not Dusty Rose. I'm sorry. I'm into the Dusty Rose, Dusty Colors, essentially. I like the gray undertone colors. And that's not Dusty Rose. I'm sorry. That's like bubblegum. So, do I have anything on right now? Well, I kind of have shadowing. So, can I do it this way? We'll do it on this side then. Alright, so this one is the Pink Velvet. Pretty. And then Sweetness. Sorry, I'm looking down. And then the um, Fake Dusty Rose, which doesn't show up very good at all. And is very, very chunky. Well, I also have hair on this side of my arm, so take that into consideration. It might not be as chunky as it appears to be, because these, again, are very soft. Not like the highlighters. Those ones are not soft. Um, but I have hair on this side of my arm, because, you know, it's a top layer, and I'm a mammal. So I have hair there. So, hold on. Alright, you guys may have heard Usher for a second there, because my daughter is down here listening, you see her arm, listening to music, and it was uh, pretty loud. So, alright, the next row, the first one we have is Peaches, and this one is called Soft Mauve, which it looks nothing like a mauve to me. Actually, the, what is that? Adored one looks more like a mauve to me. And then this one is, and the last one's Electric Pink. So, so, where were we? Oh. This one is uh, Peaches. This is the one that in the haul video I was like, it looks really orange. And yeah, it does. It just looks really orange. Uh, next one is Soft mm, Mauve, which does not look mauve at all to me. And then this one is Electric Pink, which is kind of exciting because it's like really bold. So that is those. And in case you were wondering, I am down here wiping my hands off between them. Alright, last row, we've got Coral, which this is not a coral. <laughs> um, oh, Adored, I keep wanting to say Absorbed. Uh, and then Sunset, and they look like this. So, this one is Coral. Wait, yeah, that's right. Making sure I didn't touch a different one. That one is Coral, I would like that one. Uh, the next one is not Absorbed, it's Adored. And it looks like that. And the last one is Sunset, which is, this is a really pretty color. I just, it would not work on my skin tone at all. Because I'm too pale for that shit. But yeah, that is all of them. Mm -hmm. Now you see them. Wait, now you see them. Now you halfway don't. <laughs> now you see the shadow of the old ones. Alright, so, I'm wiping those off. Um, that's that. Um, now, first impressions of them, I like them. They're soft. Um, I'm not really sure about this one, though, only because this one is really rough, not that I'm going to be, you know, I don't know. I was really excited about this because it combined unicorns and cotton candy, and I love those. Like, I love cotton candy. I haven't hit you, sorry. Um, I love cotton candy, like, a lot. I even have a cotton candy machine downstairs. I don't know if I've told you guys this or not, but I actually have a cotton candy machine in my living room because I like cotton candy. Um, and unicorns. I have unicorns all over the place. But, I don't know. I've had things surprise me. I thought when I used that mermaid palette that I was not going to like the foils, and I've used them since. I probably mentioned this too because I am a broken record, but I do like them now. So a lot of the times these things can surprise me. So... Alright, well, that is the swatch of video for uh, these ones. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you stick around to see if these things actually apply like they're supposed to. So, I, um, I guess all I have left to say is I love you all, you beautiful unicorns. Mmm. -hmm.